Hi everybody, Mark Flick and Feathers again today and I'm tying a small olive shipman's buzzer effective still water pattern, fist in the surface or subsurface as always we'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that wants to support the channel get access to the members only content and be entered into the giveaways so I've got my hook in my vise, it's a size 14, Camazan B170 You can go lighter if you like, but I prefer to have that wee bit of extra strength And then the medium wire hook And I'm running on some Uni 8O and Olive right, Just to match the body colour Now, on my way down I'm going to catch my rib, which is a number 14 Pearly Mylar Right, just pearl tinsel, the uni stuff I've got to keep that on my side and I'm going to just bang my thread back up to the front and I'll catch in a white yarn right. I'm using fluorescent white aero dry wing but you can use antron you can use any other yarn poly yarn if you like, it's up to yourself I like the aero dry wing, it's, it helps it float a wee bit you know it's got, it's, it's a hollow fibre, it's got air in it um, but it's not that buoyant that, if, that it'll hold the fly up if you want it to sort of slowly sink and I've just tied that the length of the body and I'm going to get my body dubbing which in this case is all of seal fur um, seal fur is the best material for the shipments you can use hairs here as well uh, but I'd say ginger, red, claret, black, olive seal fur is what you want to be using really hairs lug as well so I've got that dubbed on, quite a thin rope, a dubbing and I'm just going to tighten it up once I get it started just tighten it as I go and build quite a sparse wee body, you don't need to be overdressing this and I'm going to come up until I'm at the three quarters mark so slightly ahead of like a thorax length um, I believe the original was just fully dubbed and then ribbed but I like to and I know other people do as well like to take the rib up and then put a wee bit extra dubbing so taking the rib up we've got four or five turns will get you up the body that's me at my fifth come across the thread two or three wraps if you're worried about that slipping you can fold it it's more likely to break than to slip but a wee bit of security will not do you any harm and a wee pinch more of the same dubbing or you can change the colour of course uh, you could put a wee hot orange hot spot there if you want it and you see that I've just put that wee amount of dubbing just to sort of cover up the tie off then I'll bring my thread to the front I've got a wee bit of varnish on it, just a centimetre half inch, something like that and then I'll just come in, four turns of whip finish is plenty your thread, breathers, lengths up to you, something like that's fine for me, just a couple of eye lengths, and then at the back I like to just leave it slightly longer, just behind the back of the hook, but you can cut them the same length or whatever up to yourself, and then just to finish off, get a wee brush with the velcro, 
just to pull some of that seals for it. If there's any really long ones, you can grab them, take them away. So there you go, Shipman's buzzer. Super easy, super simple, but it is a real fish catcher. You can tie these, I mean, realistically, it still was tens, eights or tens, down to a 14 for the reservoirs. If you're fishing in the river, you can tie them as wee as you can go, 20, 22. They really work. So, hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Take lines guys, bye.